how to install and set up iOS 13 control center on your Android phone. Now you can see here this um, pretty much uh, similar to um, iPhone shortcuts so you can create a bunch of shortcuts here and it looks like iOS 13 you can adjust the bright screen brightness, um, turn on the speakers, volume speakers, uh, you can turn on touch so pretty much uh, the same uh, like an iPhone um, but this is just a quick launch that uh, get drawn over uh, the top of other uh, apps so to install this app uh, you go to Play Store and just type in iOS 13 control center control center and then install this app here so call control center iOS 13 this is the app that I have uh, installed and then once it's uh, installed you just tap on open and here's how you can uh, set it up now to turn it on uh, you simply just have to uh, choose uh, positions so make sure you tap on the switch to turn it on once it is on tap on the start button and then uh, after that you can set the positions um, at the moment it is set to the left so on the left hand side you have to swipe across if you choose on the right hand side then you have to um, swipe across over here just going to choose it to the left and even so now I'm having trouble to uh, swap it out I think when the app is on I cannot use it so only when I uh, turn off the app so when the app is on I cannot use it and here you can change the size of the bar as you can see you can change the size of the bar to make it smaller or larger you can change the color of the bar as well if you want to make it look similar to your android uh, side bar or side panel you can change the color to gray otherwise you can change your different color that is uh, totally up to you or you can make it um, transparent so that uh, it's not very easy to see as you can see right there and this is the size and you can choose high on keyboard now you can change the background of that uh, at the moment it's, uh, it's set to transparent you can choose uh, current wallpaper default background or screen blur so you can choose what you want so screen blur for example you can see the screen will blur transparent background so that's current wallpaper you can also set um, record setup so you can record the screen uh, you can also choose music control how you want to set your music control also you can set the customized control so you can decide what is on and what is off so there's a bunch of things that you can include uh, in that control center and then you've got other things vibrations uh, show notifications you could choose a different language so that is the basic setup of this uh, control panels once you close the app you can uh, basically swipe it across and here are some additional items so you can see down here are the additional items that you can change um, on your screen so basically this how this app works is, is once you open it it will um, lay on top of other apps so let's say um, I have a play store right here and if I swipe it out it will lay on top of the other apps and then um, when you swipe it up down across it will close it and then it will uh, return uh, the visuals uh, back to your current app and that's it so that's how it works and you can see it pretty much uh, mimic how uh, um, how the other apps work how you know uh, how the actual custom up here works so let's say if I want to uh, turn on airplane mode I tap on that and in here I can uh, go in and it doesn't switch it on and off so it basically it goes in here open up the settings page and then allow you to switch it on and off but certain features it can uh, switch it on and off uh, like Wi-Fi you can see it can switch it on and off immediately and then you can uh, have um, sync and uh, on and off you got music player you can play music straight away from google play music or you can pause uh, you can change the screen brightness uh, straight away you can change the audio volumes you can turn on the touch straight away if you hold on to that you can adjust the touch brightness so there it is and i'm just going to switch it off and that's it and that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, please subscribe to my channel for more videos.